morning from Malta. This is the main entrance gate to Valletta and we are waiting for a bus to uh, go and explore another part of beautiful island of Malta. Today we have a busy, day, right? a busy day ahead of us. We are going to a very nice cute fisherman's village then to some uh, temples. Um, you know they have a lot of ruins and temples and a lot of history going on and I know it's windy and I hope oh, you can hear me. It's very windy. Look at my hair. And even so we want to move here. I would. I'm considering it. So we are going to this um, village, Marsakslok. How do you? How do you pronounce this? Mar Marsa's Lock. I don't know. Which is I'm almost one hour away from here. So basically, we are here in Valletta and we're gonna go all the way here. And then we're gonna go. And then we're gonna here. come back here. Yeah. And I have no idea where Mosa is, but I think it's. Like it's there. on the other side, yeah. And we. Uh, took the bus to get to Valletta and I don't know if I told you before but the, bu the bus ticket you get it from the bus driver it's valid for two hours you get here the hour of your well till you get get to use the bus so basically we're gonna use the same bus ticket to get on this bus which is awesome Yes, interview me. <laughs> Where are we now? We are in Tartzien. And what are we doing here? We're coming to see the temples and the nice churches. And I'm going to talk to some people from a football club later. Great. Mm -hmm. Which way for the temples? I don't know. I really don't know. But I think you Thank just walk and the temples, you know, they call you out to them. You're going you're gonna to feel it. Sorry, I've been drinking Coke all day. They're so cute, cute streets, wonderful, cute streets. I'm trying to convince Eddie. It's a pyromaniac's nightmare. To, to get a job in Malta, doing whatever he can, baking pizza, dealing drugs, <laughs> cards, because there are a lot of, uh, I don't know, online casinos here, so they're looking for. Uh, Car dealers like and yeah, all kinds of jobs. So I think you would be good with that. Anything, just move me here. I, I think my biggest wish in life is just to be able to wear my sandals in winter. So no more winter for me, please. I'm pretty comfortable with this weather, so yes like it okay so we made it to the temples from Tarxien which are some old temples basically some uh, ruins some stones they're like the Stonehenge Malta uh, I think the Stonehenge of Malta were the ones from Gozo it's like the other Stonehenge of Malta okay so they have a bunch of temples like really old temples um, and you know what they don't have? What, Teddy? Most of Stonehenge, they don't have a bunch of hippies. A so bunch that's, of uh, dirty hippies dancing around, okay. singing. Okay, I'm gonna just visit th these temples and uh, a bus full of tourists just, just stopped. And it's gonna get busy and I don't like that. That's why we don't travel in group with agencies or, you yeah. know, because I'm just not feeling comfortable with traveling with a bunch of strangers and I don't like crowds so here they go, all of them they all possess a quite big camera right. and um, I don't have internet again I oh yes I can hate this okay. our, our, uh, our internet phone provider so yesterday we were in a bit of a crisis because our phones so we have uh, SIM cards from Romania 
uh, decided to stop working so basically we couldn't connect to any network although we had roaming and um, uh, roaming data internet we couldn't connect on any um, network from Malta and we were um, not together so <laughs> we were basically lost can you bit. cuss in your videos? no and uh, it, it was super weird a bit scary because we were not together and we couldn't uh, talk to each other for like two hours we were already planned out a, a life a simple life as a as a fisherman and Eddie yeah. was uh, <laughs> <laughs> as I said he's Heard not that good with Comino. he's not that good with orientation so he was trying to get back to why are you talking about I was so close I basically apartment, came from, but from another basically city. Basically, he was just was going around the area, not really recognizing the right so, street. So take a look at this. Yeah, but Can you in his defense, one street from the other? in his defense, <laughs> all streets look similar. Yes, because one thing, um, like um, one of the things in Malta is that you're not allowed to um, paint your house other than this limestone color. And that's why they all have different colors for their balconies and doors because that's the only thing they can custom mice, yeah. basically. <laughs> I don't think you can build it higher than uh, and a I don't certain level either. Yeah, it depends on the air area though because our apartment is like fifth floor. But so here, awesome. like most houses, it's, it's, it's house. alike. And I was close by so I knew the name of the neighborhood slash city. And I was just uh, walking around, but I didn't walk around for long, in my defense. No, and so, and luckily... I'll tell, I'll tell you what you need to do to get around here. Yeah. You just you just have to take one point of orientation at the very bottom, because everything's on a hill here. So, like, say you're in, uh, you know, Valletta. Yeah. You just take the, the coast, something along the coast, like a church or something. You go from here, I'll just walk upwards. That's what you do. Tarxian as well, every city. That, that's basically... The, the way every city is set up. Okay, it's right. on a hill and you have something interesting at the bottom like a church. Take that as a point of reference. Now we will Just go around. visit the temples that I told you four minutes ago. Yeah. Can we go ready? Is the temples? Excited? Yeah. Okay, let's go. It's more coke. No. Welcome to the temples of Tarxian. Eddie? Yeah. You just um, studied a brief. I did. Ask me anything. About this temple. When were they built? Uh, meg meg megalithic times? Between <laughs> 3140 and 2500 before Christ. Yeah. So that's like how many years ago? Uh, that's Almost. Like 5,000 years ago. Almost. Yeah. This is the map of the temple. This is the so temple later they right were here. turned into a um, cremation area, basically in the Bronze Age, and they were built up just in the like 1900s. Yeah. So, so the, same, the same guy we actually saw at the, the other place, Zamit. He was like chief uh, archaeologist in Malta. Uh huh. So he ran you know, the excavation. So, during the Bronze Age was used as a cremation cemetery. By the end of the Roman period, 2000 years later, the area was turned into fields for agriculture equipped with water channels, cisterns and buildings. So basically, the guy who actually found it was a, a, a farmer. He was just... Uh, Digging. No, no, he was like a herder. He came here with his herd, ah. his goats or something, and he just noticed this. So they excavated it. So basically this was covered up until like 1917 or something. Okay, yeah. good to know. Yeah, yeah. So basically at some point they just turned it into a field. Yeah. From what I'm getting from all these um, in plates information, um, the temples were well, we don't know why they were temples, and we don't know the the gods they were praying to. I think they were just praying to Mother Earth, such in nature, and they were so they were burning things, probably uh, what maybe animals, maybe incense, something like that. So apparently, you can see red uh, cues, which would show that they were burning things. Uh, and it's probably here just because the sun would just rise above this, right? 
I would imagine. So it just rises above the stones like it does at Stonehenge. Are you trying to film inside my nose? <laughs> is that this uh, thing over here that looks like a well and I saw a coin over there if you cannot see it on camera but down there you can see the bottom and there are some uh, more coins but that's uh, interesting because here in Malta it's, uh, it's known the fact that there is no water or river and rivers and pros probably um, nobody has any wells right they don't have wells so maybe what they did there was just the Whoever they or whatever they were sacrificing, they just throw it down there. Yeah, probably for that. Uh, and people just thought it's a well. <laughs> so whenever people to receive wells, they throw money at it. Yeah. <laughs> Wonder what these holes are for. Were for. If only we could understand German better. <laughs> yeah, to drain the blood. No, no, no. I don't. I don't think they know. They don't know. They don't know. There were some holes in the the other temples on Gaza. Remember? How people could have brought all these stones here? Yeah, nobody knows. Somebody said uh, giants, giants, but I prefer to say aliens. Aliens, yeah. They were. Um, they had some sort of doors hanging in those holes. A temple, You're right? Like a modern church, because we also have doors in the church, because you don't see parts of it. So right. kind of like that. So this was a small chamber in this uh, place, which was discovered seal. Now it's open. We can see inside. Basically, people considered it to be the great place where they can throw again money. And as you can see, there are a lot of coins there. A lot of uh, leaflets, some paper money, but it's not euro. And a pair of sunglasses. And um, yeah, I think. Somebody should get that money, my honest opinion, but who am I to say something? I really love these streets. They're so colorful, nice and cute. And everything is so nearby, like close by, like it's walking distance. That's also awesome. So in case you run out of money, you can always walk to whatever you need to go because basically it's gonna take a couple of hours tops and you'll get there. So 